The disclaimer, the following is a parody of Cinema 6 Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you will watch our content first. With this in mind, any personal bias towards the show in question will not interfere with the content of the video. This video is not meant to be taken seriously, nor is it meant to offend the creators of the show in question. The show in question itself, or anyone who likes the show in question. Finally, all copyrighted material belongs to its respective owners. Thank you, and please enjoy the video. Hey, who the fuck put this chair here? The fuck is this ugly ass wipe? I just like watching them together with you. Yeah, me too! You also like watching the fireworks with... yourself? Proofreading Crew Universe, use it! It feels like I've waited a whole year! Well, you feel that way for a reason. Greg would be good at cinema sins. Hmm. Hmm. How does putting a hose around a flamingo that's not even connected to the rest of the items in the unit make the entire thing come crashing down? Plus, in the shot where everything falls, both the flamingo and the hose completely disappear. So it makes even less sense why this would happen. Rid of all this stuff. I could take these off your hands. Greg works for the diamonds, confirmed. This mop isn't leaning on anything before it falls and shall thus be deemed the magic mop. I just thought you meant Pearl. What? I'm not letting Pearl see this. Emma, this room is full of junk. She knows how to handle a mess. Okay, so you're not gonna bring the gem who at one point even tried to organize Amethyst's mess, so could deal with this no problem, but you'll instead bring the gem who causes messes and was the one who messed up her own room in the first place? That's just... That's so f***ing stupid that I don't even know how to respond to that. I've seen your junk before. Oh, God. Something to separate the trash from the garbage. You don't even know that trash and garbage mean the same thing? Come on, Crew Universe, stop making your characters look like dipshits. Keep. So. Burn! Burn people! Keep. 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 Do you see why bringing Amethyst was a bad idea yet? Ever since you guys grounded me from TV for a thousand years. We did what now? Greg is a bad parent. Yeah, I think you'll like this one, and this one, and, uh, maybe we'll save this one for when you're a little older. Oh my f***ing god, we now know porn exists in this universe. Twas a revelation I could have gone without, but okay. Plus, not a sin, but a quick thought. I wonder how many kids' parents walked in on them while they were watching this scene and reviled in horror. Also, wasn't that book on the right side in the previous shot? Why did you pick it up from the left in this shot? Come on, don't you want to get yoked? Okay, that line actually made me crack up even on a rewatch. Oh no, how did this happen? Dude, Steven told you in Laser Light Cannon that he broke that picture. And now you're questioning how it happened? I'm surrounded by idiots. I found something that definitely doesn't belong with all this junk. Is it the deed to my uncle's mansion? Wait, what? Why would you have even put that in here? <laughs> Little bubbler, that's you. No, this line just makes me cringe no matter how many times I hear it. TVX Machina. I'm still grounded, you know. But Greg, your parent, gave you exclusive permission to see this show. So you're kind of off the hook for as long as little butler is on. An orphan boy with sass and pep got dropped off on our mansion step. <laughs> We washed his face of dirt and leaves. Yeah, you washed his face, the thing he was wrapped in, and literally nothing else. Oh, you're the butler who butlers our hearts. Dude, you can't sing. Just stop trying. Also, butler is not a verb. You people have too much money. What? This is either Clarence levels of inappropriate voice casting or incredibly messed up genetics. How is a little kid's voice coming out of this very clearly old looking man? Idiot. I'll take two breakfast-only breakfast specials, please. Breakfast-only breakfast special. Can I get a double order of hash browns? Okay, now I don't know if the fry place is a dumbass for possibly naming the breakfast special that, or if Steven's a dumbass for just not saying hash browns. Ugh, just add a sin for both. We're supposed to wash them twice, but I always wash them three times. Odd numbers just feel cleaner. With that logic, one cleaning would feel cleaner than two cleanings. Again, use proofreading, Crewniverse. You can always count on Lil B. Lil B could be taken as either Lil Bastard or Lil Bitch. Well, I never. Well, I always. <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke? Pearl wears diamond propaganda confirmed. Great, Lil Lennies are here too. How's my volume? It's low. <gasps> okay, I just love Garnet. Sony? Wait, no, I did it again. Summy would like to have a word with you. Amethyst. Amethyst. 
I bet you'd stay for her. Well, considering Steven wouldn't even exist if she was still around, and thus he wouldn't have any reason to leave if she was also here, yes, yes he would. Do you really? You know, it's really, really, really hard to root for a character in a show where everyone is either f***ing stupid, a jackass, just flat out annoying, or in some cases, all three. I just can't in good faith stay attached to some characters when they keep doing things like this, or things that put both themselves and the Earth at risk. So just, until later on, f*** you, Amethyst. You had my respect for three episodes, then you lost it. Seriously, when did you even have a cow? Steven would be good at cinema sins. Great, now I've angered Amethyst's upper lip and nose. I just thought we could take all this stuff back to the temple. That way you don't have to throw anything away. I... just... You know what? I think Jello Apocalypse can explain this way better than I can. Remember that time Armrest traumatized Steven by turning into his dead mom to taunt his emotionally broken father and then made up for it by cleaning their garage? Yeah, that makes up for that. Hey man, it's cool. I've seen your junk before. Hey, you motherfuckers! It's me, Globyface from Fuckass Supersonic 1014. Now, who the fuck is this shitty ass poser? How dare he try to half acidly copy the sexiness of my glamorous physique? Plot convenient hologram. Who in Great Father Globe's name created that fucking bootlegged abomination? Um, so that is my next target, it seems. It's go time. Okay, I'm done.